documents show a history of violence between a Ray County man and his wife. Police say um, Tr Patricia Wilkie shot her husband Thomas yesterday. News Channel Line's Stephanie Sanastasi joins us now to tell us what Patricia's family believes led to the shooting. Stephanie. Kim Calvin, Patricia Wilkie's brother believes past abuse from her husband led to led her to that breaking point. And court records we received today show that wasn't the first time Wilkie abused a wife. A call made from this house long before investigators say Patricia Wilkie pulled the trigger. Mom and one, where's your emergency? The same place where police found Thomas Richard Wilkie. According to this arrest affidavit, Wilkie's wife, Patricia, admitted to shooting her husband twice in the head. Police say she wrapped his body in plastic garbage bags and tape, then threw his clothes over a bluff and the gun in a river. We were dispatched up to um, 1241 Walkertown Road, reference to a possible DOA. Patricia's brother, Charles, says Thomas abused his sister. He says there was only so much she could handle. Documents show police came here back in 2015 for a domestic call between the couple. Patricia told officers her husband was drunk and got mad because she wouldn't give him a code to their safe. As she called 911, Thomas threw her down and bit her. That wasn't his first domestic assault charge. In Ray County, Wilkie's been arrested 13 times. In 2002, records show Thomas and his wife at the time got into a verbal altercation. It quickly turned physical. Police say he hit his wife in the face, held her down, and put a knife to her throat. The two eventually divorced, and she filed a restraining order. But Wilkie's record continued. In 2008, he was charged with domestic assault again, this time with a different woman. She was his girlfriend at the time. Documents show Wilkie held a rifle to her head and wouldn't let her leave. Records show all those domestic assault cases were dismissed in court. Calvin. Thanks, Stephanie. Patricia Wilkie is charged with one count of criminal homicide. She also has past charges, but none of them are violent. She appeared in a Ray County court this morning. She's being held, She's being held on a $350,000 bill.